I think many educators who work with students who have dyslexia really can make the connection to the findings that come out of science. And it's really, I see it as a two-way um, street, right? So we, when we talk to people in education, uh, and you know, people in education are trying to teach skills like orthographic processing, having kids be really good at recognizing words very rapidly. And in neuroscience has revealed which part of the brain does that in the visual system. And they're also teaching children to get better at sounding out words and decoding words. And we know which brain structures do that. And we know that they're all affected in dyslexia. And we uh, are really trying to, I think, use information from the other field to guide us in our hypothesis testing and in our thinking. I think, uh, as I said before, you can use brain imaging as a tool to um, uh, help contribute to different theoretical frameworks that guide how you think about dyslexia. And I think you know, we certainly look to education to see uh, how to interpret our work, but I think people in education will look to the brain imaging and, and understand why it is the work that they do and some of the exercises they do are so important. Because yes, indeed, if you teach children to recognize words very rapidly, it's because there's some neurons that are becoming fine-tuned to those words. It's not just an empty exercise. There is a a physical and physiological mechanism that is taking place and that's shaping the brain to allow that child to become better at that.